Dear children, I would like to present you such a beautiful country, Italy. Ciao Italy! Italy is located in the south of mainland Europe and consists mainly of a peninsula and two large islands in the Mediterranean Sea, Sicily and Sardinia, but also has many smaller islands such as Capri, Ischia and Elba. It is easy to recognize Italy on any world map as the country is shaped like high-heeled boot. As you can see, it looks like the boot is kicking a ball, which is the island of Sicily. Don't you think? Being a peninsula, which is a landform surrounded by water on the majority of its border, while being connected to a mainland from which it extends, Italy has a long coastline in the Mediterranean Sea. For this, Italy is popular for its many picturesque ports and sandy beaches. The Alps and the Apennines are two main mountain ranges in Italy. In the north, the mountain range of the Alps separates Italy from the other European countries, France, Switzerland, Austria and Slovenia. The highest mountains of Italy can be found in the Alps. The Dolomites are a part of the Alps mountain range in Italy north and many of the peaks are above 3000 meter high. Alps are great for skiing, hiking and mountain size holidays. Plan to visit Bolzano's Natural Historian History Museum where you can marvel at Uzi, the mummy from the Ice Age. The Apennines mountain range run all the way down the boot and separate the eastern and the western regions of the country. Kids, did you know that in Italy there is still active volcanoes? In the south of Italy you will find Italians three active volcanoes Vesuvius near Naples, Napoli, Etna on Sicily, the most active volcano in Europe, and Stromboli of the coast of Italy. Italy capital is Rome, which is often called it Eternal City. Italy's capital city is a wonderful place to learn about the Romans and ancient history as there are so many historical sites such as Colosseum or the Roman Forum in Italy Foro Romano, which is ancient Roman ruins. Colosseum is the largest ancient amphitheater, meaning theater in the round, ever built. The Colosseum was used mainly for gladiatorial contests, animal hunts, executions, reenactments of famous battles and other kind of spectacles. The cities of Italy are so, so, so beautiful. Venice, this is a lagoon city in northern Italy. The city is built on islands and known for its colorful carnival celebrations. Venice is the most romantic city in the world. Florence, the city in Tuscany is known for its art museum and historic churches. Many of the great Italian artists 
such as Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci, once lived in this city. Pisa. Experience the Leaning Tower of Pisa. This is really quite a sight. Ravenna. Famous for the ancient mosaics in the churches. The extensive decoration with the mosaics that date back to the 5th century are so stunning. Tuscany. This is a popular tourist region with scenic countryside. There are lovely medieval towns such as San Gimignano, Luca or Montepulciano. Italians love soccer, football. Calcio means soccer in Italian. Italians also love music, all kinds, modern or folk, but especially opera. Opera is integral to Italian musical culture and has become a major segment of popular music. Italian opera it's both the art of opera in Italy and opera in the Italian language. Opera was born in Italy around the year 1600 and Italian opera has continued to play a dominant role in the history of this music form until the present day. The family is very important for Italians, where there are still many big families including grandparents, parents and children in the household. In the afternoon or evening, it is common to meet up with family and friends on the piazza. The piazza is the main square 
of the village or town. Italians love their food, which is usually prepared freshly by la mamma, the mother or nonna, the grandmother. Pizza is surely one of the most famous food who conquers the whole world. And in Italy, it is usually baked in a wood fire oven and very thin, but loaded with fresh vegetables or thinly sliced ham, salami or olives. The Italian pasta is renowned worldwide and there are more than 200 different shapes. Did you know that Italians eat spaghetti only with a fork not using a spoon? Many Italian dishes are based on fresh vegetables and seafood too. And of course, there are many delicious sweet cakes in Italy like panettone. Italians are famous for their inventions and discoveries. The Italian explorers Christopher Columbus and America Vespucci discovered America, while Marco Polo explored the East, traveled through Asia along the Silk Road. Leonardo da Vinci was a science and artist who was the first to prove the world is round and not flat. Alessandro Volta was the pioneer who did studies in electricity, hence the name Volt describe a unit of electricity. Italians also invented the piano and the thermometer. Kids, did you know that Italy surrounds two of the world's smallest countries? These are San Marino in northern Italy, which is also the oldest republic in the world, and Vatican City in Rome the smallest country in the world, fully independent nation-state. The Vatican is an ecclesiastical state, seat of the Roman Catholic Church, where the Pope, the head of the Catholic Church, lives. The most imposing building is San Peter's Basilica, built during the 4th century and rebuilt during the 16th century. Erected over the tomb of St. Peter the Apostle, it is the second largest religion building, building in Christendom. The Vatican Palace is the residence of the Pope within the city walls. The Holy See is the name given to the government of the Roman Catholic Church, which is led by the Pope as the Bishop of Rome. The Vatican museums and galleries, the frescoes by Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel, the frescoes by Pinturicchio in Borgia apartment and Raphael's rooms attract millions of tourists from throughout the world. Yeah.
Signore, Dio di pace, ascolta la nostra supplica. Abbiamo provato tante volte e per tanti anni a risolvere i nostri conflitti con le nostre forze e anche con le nostre armi. Tanti momenti di ostilità e di oscurità, tanto sangue versato, tante vite spezzate, tante speranze seppellite. Ma i nostri sforzi sono stati vani. Ora, Signore, aiutaci, donaci Tu la pace, insegnaci Tu la pace, guidaci Tu verso la pace. Apri i nostri occhi e i nostri cuori e donaci il coraggio di dire mai più la guerra. Con la guerra tutto è distrutto. Infonde in noi il coraggio di compiere gesti concreti per costruire la pace. Signore, Dio di Abramo e dei profetti, Dio amore che ci hai creati e ci chiami a vivere da fratelli, Donaci la forza per essere ogni giorno artigiani della pace. Donaci la capacità di guardare con benevolenza tutti i fratelli che incontriamo sul nostro cammino. Rendeci disponibili ad ascoltare il grido dei nostri cittadini che ci chiedono di trasformare le nostre armi in strumento di pace, le nostre paure in fiducia e le nostre tensioni in perdono. Tiene accesa in noi la fiamma della speranza per compiere con paziente e perseveranza scelte di dialogo e di riconciliazione, perché vinca finalmente la pace e che dal cuore di ogni uomo siano bandite queste parole, divisione, odio, guerra. Signore, disarma la lingua e le mani, rinnova i cuori e le menti, perché la parola che ci fa incontrare sia sempre fratello e lo stile della nostra vita diventi shalom, pace, salam. Amen. Italia, te ibesc. Italy, I love you. Italia, ti amo! Pace a te!